Hey guys, Rob Gibson here. I'm going to show you guys how to save yourself $200. Okay, not only that, but learn how to make yourself a professional, okay, and an educated plan, okay, and training split. This training split, um, like I said, I used to work at fitness centers and I would charge, I wouldn't personally, but the gym would charge $199 for me to create a workout um, training split for them. So a month program, okay. Um, they would come in, I just ask them a series of questions, and in these questions I'd figure out how I'm going to make a scheduled program for them. And there's really six questions that you need to ask yourself, okay? And you can make this yourself and, and, and skip the whole $200 fee, okay? Um, there's six questions and I have them listed right here. Um, and the thing is when people came in, they would spend $200, but they didn't know they were just spending $200 on a... a a printed out, copied program that I gave to, you know, hundreds of other people before. Um, because when it comes to picking a goal, your first question, what is my goal? There's only three choices you have. Either you want to build muscle because you're skinny, okay, and you have low body fat, but you just want to get a little bigger. Or you're overweight and you just want to burn fat and you don't really care about your muscle tone. Or... This is the biggest one that I get. You want both. You, you want to build muscle and you want to burn fat. So there's only three programs that I created, okay? And in those three programs, the layout is just like this as the following. If you want to build muscle, have more muscle building workouts than endurance and cardio workouts. If you want to burn more fat, have more endurance workouts and cardio workouts than you do muscle building workouts. If you want both, you got to even them out, okay, um, to... You know, you're going to have more muscle building, just one more day, but during these muscle building workouts, you're still burning fat and, and you're still working on your endurance. Um, so it, it really does even out. So you're going to have three muscle building workouts a week and two cardio slash endurance workouts a week. I call it cardurance, okay? Um, so once you know what you want to do, pick one of the three, follow this template, okay? Follow these workouts and just plug them in, okay, into your, into your schedule. After you know what your goal is, you need to know how many days a week you're going to work out. I recommend no less than four days a week, okay, because you always want to work out more times a week than you don't work out, okay? So three, I don't think that's a good enough uh, workout regimen. Four plus workouts a week, all right? Where will you work out? If you guys want to save time and some money, work out at home. You don't need much equipment. You know, you, you need some dumbbells. You need a physio ball. You need some bands and a pull-up bar, okay? And once you have these things, you have them for life. So your gym membership's a one-time fee. And not only that, but the time you save. Most gyms are 15, 20 minutes away from people's houses. If you have one right down the street, okay, then use it, all right? Um, you know, if, if the gym membership fee is not a big deal to you, use a gym. Um, you know, you have more dumbbells at the gym, and it doesn't cost you any money to do that, to buy the dumbbells. But... Pick out what you want to do, but don't go to a gym that's 20, 30 minutes away. Guys, your workout should only be 40 minutes. Don't spend an hour to 40 minutes driving to your workout. You know That's two hours a day, too much time. Work out at home if you want to save time. After you figure out where you want to work out, okay, what time will you work out? And this goes into this uh, fifth question is, how will I schedule this in my daily life? So all you need to do is, is look at your schedule, okay? Um, and I just did a basic nine to five schedule here. Somebody gets up, they eat the breakfast, they they uh, schedule the workout right before they drive to work. They go to work, eat their lunch at work, go back to work, drive home, eat some dinner, relax with the family, and then go to bed. Okay, you know if you can't do it in the morning, push your dinner back a little later. Okay, um, you know just you know forty five minutes. Okay, this allows you to wake up a little later. So you can go to bed a little later. And then just throw your workout right in here, okay? Whatever it is you got to do, I recommend you do it in the morning, though, because it will give you energy all day. Um, not only that, but the longer you have to, um, you know, go throughout your day, your mind starts to get tired around here. And then when you're done work, sometimes the last thing you want to do is work out. So I recommend you do it in the morning. Get it done and over with. Once you have it done, you're going to have that glow, that energy all day, and you'll be nice and tired. When you go home, you get a great night's sleep, okay? So don't work out too late. Um, 
I really do recommend it in the morning or try and squeeze it in at your lunch break. After you have this all figured out, write it down, okay? I use iCalendar because I have a Mac. Use a piece of paper, use a regular calendar, whatever you have to do, write it down and just have it in front of you so you know every day. This is part of your routine now, okay? Um, once you know what time you're going to do it, just plug in the workouts. Go to this template right here, okay? And I'll, and I'll leave this on the website for you. Um, if you want to build muscle, do four muscle building workouts a week, one car endurance. If you want to burn fat, do three car endurance, two muscle building. If you want to do both, you want to burn fat and gain muscle, do three muscle building workouts a week, and then do two car endurance a week, okay? And all you got to do is just plug that into the schedule what at the time that you're going to do it and it's as simple as that guys save yourself two hundred dollars um, not only that but I gave you the template on how to do it right for these specific goals right here so again I'll have this on the website if you have any questions email me at educatednutrition at yahoo.com and I hope this helps guys